Six months ago, I was working for the East Riding of Yorkshire Council in a call centre, answering calls every day, which was boring. 12 months ago this week, Valeria and the boys arrived in England after we were separated for 11 months. Uh, two years ago, I was living and working in St. Petersburg in a private school teaching English to primary school students in the morning, that's kids below 11 years old, and to secondary uh, age children in the afternoon, that's 11 to 16, whilst also teaching English during the evenings and weekends about another 10 or 15 hours every week. Three months ago, I started making vlogs like this. I know that because this is vlog number 12. Nettles, people like to make tea out of nettles, but I've never really tried it. But apparently it's good for your health. All I know is they sting you. That's when, like here, I've been stung, as you can see. You can see it just there. Other things that could sting you, ants, bees, wasps, probably other plants kicking around. A thistle could scratch you. Different verbs that can happen while you're in the countryside. You get stung, you get scratched. It's all part and parcel of living in the countryside, I guess. So part and parcel means, well, it's just part of something. If something is part and parcel of something, that's, that's part of the process. So if you live in the countryside, getting stung and scratched is part and parcel of the deal. You get to enjoy this beautiful scenery but sometimes you get stung. I've never filmed anything before, a vlog or even written a vlog, so it's been a very steep learning curve for me. So steep is, if you think of a mountain and it goes up very fast, we call it steep, a steep incline. And we have a learning curve, the same thing, so a curve, a bend going upwards in a trend. So it's been a very steep learning curve for me because I didn't know how to make a video. But I've always wanted to try to make videos for English language learners to help you learn vocabulary and I think a great way to do that is learning vocabulary in context. So where possible I try never to script what I'm going to say but I do try to make sure that I use enough interesting language so that you can learn something whilst you're watching. But what I'm going to do is make a little tweak, that's a very small change, a little adjustment to the way that I make these videos. I'm going to break down the language in real time from now on rather than using only captions. Instead I'm going to do it a little bit like this with a, the example I just gave you, talking about a steep learning curve. And we're gonna see how the vlogs go progressing like this. At the end of the day, what I've probably discovered the most is that vlogging isn't easy, and I can use the expression at the end of the day to mean in conclusion. And vlogging isn't easy because you have to put yourself out there and not worry about what people think about you, which is not such an easy thing to do. But not only that, you have to think of something that your viewers are going to try and find interesting and that's been difficult during lockdown. So I've come out today, this is basically where I live. You've probably seen my little village on some of my vlogs and I just wanted to make this vlog as something a little bit different, more like a video diary I suppose, which is what vlogs really started out as. And just to talk to you about what it's like really making these videos and how I kind of make them I suppose a little bit, but really where I am now is very beautiful and I come here every morning, it's the first thing I do, I wake up, I try to, I try to be disciplined, so to be disciplined means to, ooh, just got to be careful for the nettle, sorry, I try to be disciplined, which means I try to continually do the same thing and be self-disciplined and not let myself down, oh I got stung by a nettle, another nettle, and continue my routine and not break my routine, so to be disciplined, but sometimes it's difficult when it's raining. But I do like to come out here, walk around in the morning. It helps me to, to contemplate, and that's kind of what I'm doing now, to contemplate, to think, to think deeply about something, is to contemplate. So when I was thinking about what to do this week to make a vlog, and I was running out of ideas, uh, I was contemplating myself what to do. So I thought, what better? Oh, man down. <laughs> you can say man down as a humorous remark when someone slips over. So I thought I'd make this vlog today um, in the place where I do most of my contemplating as I contemplate what to do with the direction of the vlog. So I guess normally when you're making a vlog you should say something profound, something deep meaning and uh, try to tell a story or make a point. But honestly there isn't really a, a deep point I'm trying to make in this vlog. I suppose all I could say is that I gave you the time markers, the time references earlier for the way that my life has gone over the last two years and in fact Going back just a little bit further, I started teaching in 2013 
and in the last seven years it's been a real roller coaster it's been completely up and down the way my life has gone the direction and you're never really quite sure what's around the corner so I suppose the whole point of this vlog is to just say keep doing what you enjoy and if it's something you want to do but it's too difficult or you think it's too difficult just give it a go anyway start doing it and you'll see where things end up <laughs>